Wonder if I'll discover any rare swords. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? Please, let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. Wonder if I'll discover any rare swords. What is your purpose for entering the Seed of Divine Foresight? Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo La Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a jade abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall, but this oath shall never be broken. The same is true of this jade abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here, in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <clears throat> of course. I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Yep, got it. Say no more, sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the Edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the Law Fu. Nice! But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far reaching implications. And some people such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. 
I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. So soon? Uh, I wanted to help the general, but things didn't turn out how I wanted them to be. I've learned my lesson. Uh, also, I have a rather abrupt request. After fighting Dan Hong, I feel like my skills are lacking somewhere. If you have any time to coach me... I'm worried that he still holds some grudge against me. But to be honest, <laughs> I'd love to have another spar with him. Safe travels. remained dead for thousands of years. I don't believe extractor in the clean to your star skip service. <laughs> Look no further. What is your purpose for...
Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himeko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sienjo? Oh yeah, there are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Yang. Wonder if I'll discover any rare swords. My home planet made its fortune to the mine. You think you're that good, huh? Watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. You're back. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time, I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Welk can stay on the express. <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? Yes, no more Stellaron Hunter interruptions. It's time to get our original plan back on track. Our next stop is Penacony, remember? The Express's records show that Penacony was a prison planet used by the IPC to exile criminals. At least, it was at the time of recording. However, Following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipei, 
They say it's been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the Express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. <clears throat> All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> what a spectacle. The Stellaron, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Siendro, what was their motive? <laughs> Will you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yaosher. General, my power does indeed stem from the Abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yaosher. <laughs> That's right, Jing Wen. <gasps> Stay out of our way. The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time, we will put the Abundance in their grave. Is this... a letter? the ancient sea and return to old ground. It's a letter for Don Hung, but who is it from? I should ask the conductor. Since assuming the role of Helm Master, it's rare that I have the chance to gaze upon the stars like this. It should be a view I tire of seeing, but it always leaves me in awe. The heavens really are boundless. 
Thank you. I like it. It's a shame. The stars no longer belong to me. Perhaps one day I shall feel their embrace once again. But it will undoubtedly be the day of my last flight. I will. Thank you for your invitation. I can't help but say that after arriving on the express, I'm a little envious of your way of life. You are able to enjoy the vastness of the universe with reliable companions by your side. I hope you all cherish one another. This place could do with some iris scanners. Wouldn't want unregistered visitors sneaking aboard. I remember Lady Asta commissioned some security equipment a while back. Maybe she still has some spares. Oh, sorry. I was thinking out loud. Don't worry. The Express is perfectly safe. There are no... Well, come to think of it, I'm an unregistered visitor. I'm sure you guys in the Express itself are more than capable of maintaining security. But it's important not to overlook basic prevention methods. In addition to visitor recognition systems, I've made a few notes on third-party signal monitoring and emergency response devices. Of course, it'd be great if you never had to use any of it, but I hope my analysis is of help to the conductor. Sorry. I was just trying to help. Anyway, thanks for inviting me to see the train. I've seen the express when it was docked at the platform, but this is my first time on board. I'm not as knowledgeable as Lady Asta. The only way I can contribute is to help the station improve its defenses, don't you think? Huh? huh? Uh, you're right. I need to learn to unwind. I've been so focused on the station's defenses recently. It's easy to forget that work-life balance is the best way to stay on top. Thanks for your advice. It's nice to have a break every now and then.
Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall?